Hey everyone, it's Crazy Tales One I'm back with another video, and this is my review on the Komani Pre E3 conference. I guess you could call it. I guess it was a conference for them. <laughs> if you like my review, you can hit the like button and subscribe to miss anything else on my channel. You can also add me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, follow me on Google Plus, and also link description below for the Swagbucks website, the most free rewarding website ever, where you earn free things like Amazon gift cards and PayPal money. Also, if you want to become a member of RPM Network, all links in the description below. So, the Kalani E3 conference. Before I start with that, I just want to say, talk about Kalani for a second. Now, Kalani is obviously a video game developer company slash publisher. They're both. <laughs> I grew up with them, sort of. I used to play their games, and by games I only mean one, the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. I used to always play the hell out of those games. Every game, every basically every Yu-Gi-Oh! game that they made for the Game Boy Advance, GameCube... PS2, Xbox, I played all of them. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm a big fan of Kalani. I did play some of the other games, Castlevania, Metal Gear Solid, too, but mainly it was just Yu-Gi-Oh!, even though I am done with Yu-Gi-Oh!, I lost interest in it. Like, my, I ended Yu-Gi-Oh! with Yu-Gi-Oh! Fighties for me. That was the end for Yu-Gi-Oh! series for me, so I would have still have been playing the games, but after 2011, they haven't released another... Yu-Gi-Oh! games. I'm just wondering, hmm. They did announce it for 3DS, but it never came out. So, I don't know when it's gonna come out. I might actually buy, even though I'm done with Yu-Gi-Oh! But, hey, who knows. Anyway, back to the main focus is the Kalani e Pre-E3 conference. So, I didn't even know they did this. This is their third time doing a Pre-E3 show for E3. This is also their 40th year anniversary for Kalani, so congratulations on that. Hopefully, more years after that. Basically, at the beginning of the show, he talked about, you know, Kalani developed new games, yeah. And they talked about Dance Dance Revolution. Does anybody really play that game? They was talking about that, and they was talking about how their partner with, uh, it was um, Kid Edition or Lesson Edition, something like that. How they partnered with Michelle Obama's campaign, all these partners to get more kids active. So to stop your obesity, I guess. I mean... Is Dance Dance Revolution, does anybody really play that now? Since they got games like Just Dance and Dance Central for the Connect, so who knows? I mean, it's towards little kids, so maybe kids will still play it. They also talked about um, Pro Evolution so Soccer 2013, or was it 14? I don't remember. <laughs> it's most likely 13. They also talk about how the new engine helps them make more fluid passes, make it more realistic. I saw some of the footage. It actually looked pretty good. Even though I play mostly FIFA, I haven't really tried the Pro Evolution stock. I did play it on the 3DS before, but overall, I um, like prefer FIFA over Pro Evolution. Oh, that's the thing about calling your sports games. It seems like they have like the downgraded reject sports games compared to the other ones. Like I saw their baseball one. Wouldn't you rather play, like, MLB The Show or MLB 2K that 2K Sports make? And, yeah, so they have, like, the reject sports game. I'm not saying Pro Evolution Soccer is it's bad. I, it's it's going to come out this year, most obviously. So it might be a good game. I just I'd rather prefer FIFA than Pro Evolution Soccer. Also, after that, they talk about Metal Gear Solid Five. Now, this actually, that game looked beautiful. Oh my god, the graphics of that game look stunning. He was talking about how it's a new engine again. <laughs> he also talked about how he used the guy who played 24. I think his name is Jack Bauer. I haven't watched 24 in a while. He, they based the face off of Snake, who's old as shit. <laughs> He's like 40 years old. I don't know why they keep using it. How about they just use it? Uh, how about the next Metal Gear Solid? I mean, I know Metal Gear Solid is based on Snake, but how about the Metal Gear Solid 6? I focus on a brand new character, a brand new story, brand new plot, brand new setting, everything. <laughs> for that, for the next gen, since by then all three systems will be out. So it will be good to have a new Metal Gear Solid that's, like, someone other than Snake. But anyway, back to Metal Gear Solid 5, the game looks beautiful. Um, they focusing more on how the environment it should look as if it's in real life, but it's, they're trying to do the best they the best they can in a video game, but also trying to make it so much real in real life. I mean, the, it's just everything is so much detail, the rain, the eyes on the snake, and everything else. And the environment is just it looks great. 
It's coming out on, obviously, I don't think they announced it, but most likely Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, they decided to come out with it on there. I don't know about the Wii U. The Wii U always get the back burner and everything, so we have to wait and see for that. Maybe E3, they might show it. So, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 5. Most likely, I think it will come out this year. And I am kind of a Metal Gear Solid fan. I played Snake Eater on a 3DS. It was kind of good, so I might actually check this one out. And also, so the last thing I'm going to be talking about is Castlevania 2, Lord of Shadows, or Castlevania Lord of Shadows 2. <laughs> I should say, that game, wow, that, that blew me away. I actually never really played a Castlevania series. I played the demo of Castlevania 2 Mirror of Fate on 3DS. That game was good, even though Scott, it was 2D um, side-scroller. That game was good. I had to admit that. So, I looked at the game. I mean, he was talking about it. It's focusing more on Dracula and his story, since I never played Lord of Shadows. I'm not really understanding how the plot went I mean by just looking at it, it seems like he's falling he's trying to just get himself back up and also talking about how he is trying to like relieve his powers of immortal so he don't have to be immortal anymore you know I don't know why would you want to do that being alive forever is awesome <laughs> so yeah but anyway back to the game obviously the new engine that they kept saying about engine for all three of their main games they was talking about Pro Evolution Soccer, Metagare, and now Castlevania. But they know the game just looks gorgeous. Oh my god. <laughs> the game looks awesome. The new, it's just, everything just looks so much detail. Especially the outside, even though that was obviously a um, CGI scene, was an actual gameplay. It still looks, one. It, it looked amazing. Probably the gameplay is going to be awesome as well. If it's like Mirror of Fate, you know, it's not because it's a 3D game, not 2D side scroller. So yeah. It look it comes out this winter. It's gonna be focusing more on Dracula and it's also Castlevania Lord of Shadows two is going to be the end of the Lord of Shadow series. I think I don't know, don't because yeah, they was talking about how they're gonna end that series since they don't wanna milk the Castlevania series. <laughs> Cause it's been a bunch of Castlevania games that I it's like like fourteen of them. It's it's, it's a lot. So this is gonna be the end of the Lord the Lord of Shadow series. I don't know if this is the end of the Castlevania series as a whole since I don't follow it that much. But I did play Mirror of Fate, and this game looks awesome as well. It's coming out on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. It might come out on the PS4, Xbox One, and the Wii U. We don't know. This is what that's what E3 is for. But this was the pre-E3 conference. So overall, Comedy's um, conference pre-show was actually good. Showed off their top three games. The Dance Dance Revolution game really didn't care for that. It was a, was shocked how good. Metal Gear Solid 5 and Castlevania Lord Shadow 2 look. Like I said before about Pro Evolution Soccer, like, I just prefer FIFA over that, so I really can't say. I'm not saying the game might be bad, I'm just, I'm gonna get FIFA over that, even though it's not coming out on the Wii U, unfortunately, this year, but hey, I have Xbox 360, might buy it on there. <laughs> so overall, it, it was a good pre-show, so start E3, which starts tomorrow with Microsoft Conference. The EA conference, the Ubisoft conference, and Sony conference. So four conferences, and you will see four video reviews on that on my channel as well. So thank you for watching this review on the Colony pre-show E3 conference. Like I said before, it was a great conference for the pre-show, <laughs> I guess. If you like my review, hit the like button. <laughs> and subscribe if you miss anything else on my channel, which is below. You can also add me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Follow me on Google Plus and the link description below for the Swagbucks website, the most free warrior website ever. We learn free things like Amazon gift cards and PayPal. And also, you can remember RPM Network. All links in the description below. Thank you for watching. As always, this is Craig Tales One. Signing off. See ya.